been blowing away the cobwebs. <sighs> that was some hen party. <laughs> you know, I'm really pleased that you agreed to be my bridesmaid, so. And I know it's hard after everything that's happened between your dad and me. The day started so well. The sight of the sore eyes. <coughs> Morning, ladies. Having second thoughts as to which side you're batting for, Kim. <laughs> what do you want, you weasel? <laughs> That's hardly the way to greet your caterers. Very funny. Clear off. You mean he hasn't told you? You're intended. He's got us doing the food. And why would he do that? Probably because the other people let him down. I can't believe this. Want to see the menu? No. <coughs> Crayfish and seafood well, a nice fountain, platter of roast gamers. Sounds very impressive. It will be. It better be perfect. Have a nice day. You've not said anything, have you? No. But I really feel I should. Uh, don't you dare. If we keep quiet, I get his home farm shares, which means everything Dad built up comes back under our control. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Steve is ignoring me. His phone's constantly engaged and his mobile's switched off. He must be busy. Hmm. He's working on something else to spring on me. It was Tara who brought his father. I know. Smug little tart. Why didn't he tell me? He must have his reasons. It's his father, for God's sake. And I'm going to be his wife. Do you think Steve can be trusted? <laughs> You're about to get married to him. You don't, do you? I think I'm in it deeper than ever, Betty. What's up now? Kim wants to see you, Seth. I don't know how to about it. <laughs> well, you have agreed to give her away, haven't you? Oh, ah. Uh, I've forgotten. Could you all rise, please? This is the biggest one you pulled off. He who dares? You've not won yet, old mate. I only declare that I know of no lawful impediment. Why I, Stephen Marchant, may not be joined in matrimony. Why I, Stephen Marchant, may not be joined in matrimony. To Kim Jane Tate. To Kim Jane Tate. You are now husband and wife together. You may kiss the bride. Don't you dare answer it, not till we come back from honeymoon. Fine by me. Congratulations, my boy. Cheers, Alan. It's a wonderful spread. Yeah, Eric surprises all. Things looking good? Very good. Business on the up, eh? Well, I mean, for you to lay up for all this. What do you expect? Pies in the wool, pack. Steve! Oh. She's gonna do it now. Oh, please don't blow it, Chris. I wonder if I should go and tell her now that Marchand's business empire is an empty office block rent of the day. Don't you dare. Or that Steve's promised me his shares in home farm. Good enough. Shall we go and get something to eat? I've got a written agreement with him, you know. That puts us in control. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, gastronomic adventure continues. <laughs> Kim? Should I leave you to it? I could... I could get Steve. No. What is it? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Oh, I think I am. I wanted... I wanted to say something. Say what? Has Chris been saying things? <laughs> 
Even he couldn't spoil today. You know, I have never been happier. I know it's crazy, but that's why I was crying. I am really happy. You know, it was Steve's dad arriving. Did you have any inkling about him? No. He is such a gentleman. He was genuinely delighted for Steve, well, for both of us. There was no hidden agenda. I'm tired of game playing. You don't believe me, do you? I'm sure that's how you feel now. No. I've got everything I want. But Steve and I are equals. With Frank, well, he held the reins. You were hardly a shrinking violet. <laughs> you know, I must admit I've never felt for Steve the way that I did for David. But that could never have worked. It was Frank and me in reverse. There's more to it than a joint bank account. For some people. Most people. I thought Steve wanted all this more than he wanted me. Doesn't he? No. Did I tell you he's made me a full partner in his business? So you know exactly what he does? Well, what an odd question. I'm not some bimbo who doesn't want to fill her head with figures. No, I know that. Then why ask? Oh, well, I'm just some bimbo who doesn't understand portfolios. But why did you ask me if I know what he does? I wonder where you got to. <laughs> Did you miss me? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? Kim was just telling me how happy she is. Sure. I was, actually. Come on. Let's boogie. The last need is a free man. Well, you shouldn't have got wrapped up with them dingles. Did you see Marchant's expression? He was gloating. He's married the woman he loves. And where are they now? Where do you think? In such a hurry, they even forgot to cut the cake. I mean, we have got them, haven't we? Home farm's ours. Yours, maybe. Unless he's a better con man than she is. Now, there's a thought. 